Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to the Scarecrow channel. Today I would like to show you how to set up your Universal Remote on your Galaxy S4 for your TV. Let's take a look. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and launch your app. The app is called Watch On. It's a purple one like that. So once you launch this, uh, you are given. Um, if you have if you have a room already set up like me, then you have already all your shovels in that. But to go ahead and add a new room, you just go to your settings, hit the settings there, and then what you want to do here is you already have the living room. Let's add a bedroom. So go ahead and hit add, and then go ahead and name your room. Okay, so you can put that in, hit next. Then it's going to ask for your zip code, this or your postal code if you're in Canada. So this what this will do is we'll add the cable subscription or the satellite subscription that you have and it'll also give you the guide with this remote. So I'm going to put in mine. Okay, I'm going to hit done. And now you have a all the subscriptions in your area. I'm going to go ahead and add Westman Communications Group. Okay, and then it'll just ask you a bunch of questionnaires about the thing. I do have channel 002, so I'm going to hit yes. Alright, so now we just have to add the remote, or sorry, the TV, so let's do that. So you just hit that button up here, go set up now, and then choose your brand. So if your brand is not in the um, six or seven top uh, TVs, then just go ahead and do show other brands. Mine is a Dynex from Future Shop. So just go to your D's, Dynex. And the cool thing about this is that if you have a TV within um, last three or four years, the first one that you pick will actually work. So if I go ahead and try it out now, and there it goes. So it will also ask. So it'll ask you, um, did this actually turn your TV on? You can go try it again, or no, it didn't. Try a different code. And for my, it actually did. So now I have, you can set up a set-top box, which I have, but I won't do in this step, or you can actually go to my Dynex TV. And there we go. So now let's check out the volume. Up and down. Channel also works. Okay, and you can do mute. Mute on and off. You can also do the source, which is very handy. So if you have different HDMI outputs or different uh, VGA outputs for your computer or whatnot, you can actually do it from here. So if I hit source, you can see that I can switch to different sources. And of course you get the keypad for your channels. So there is uh, also this little tab at the bottom here. When you press that, it'll show you kind of just a little bit more options here um, that you can do. And also if you want to um, pick a different device or add a second device. So for the device that you can add, you can add a DVD player, Blu-ray, Outer Vita receiver, and streaming media player. So those are some of the things you can actually add. You can also add this remote to the lock screen. If you're using the swipe feature, you can actually swipe to the right and you'll get all your apps. And all you have to do is just hit the add button and you can actually add the watch on app. So if you just click on it, and there you go, it brings up your uh, device. So then if you wanted to turn it off really quick, you just press the off 
and there it is, it's off. And of course you can also add it to the other side as well, to the app drawer. So you just hit the add here and pick your watch on widget. You just hit the widget and it just saves it on. So once you do add it, you can just swipe to the left this time and there you go, you have the remote for quick and easy access. And there it goes. Well, that is it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I very much appreciate that. Don't forget to follow me on Google+, Twitter, or Instagram. Also, if you want to see more videos coming up, hit the subscribe button. That way you'll get the videos as soon as they come out. Well, that is it for my time. And as always, I do thank you for yours. We'll see you in my next video. Bye.